wasn't the best first half from us as a, as a collective. And I think the second half, our aim was just to put ourselves about a bit more and try and have much more of an influence on the game, which I felt we did. We tried to play a bit more, tried to put them under a bit more pressure, and I felt that that kind of changed the, the direction of the game, shall I say. And we kind of managed to gain a bit more control and tried. But, you know, it was just a little too late at the end. Couldn't really create too many chances, but we tried. We did try, and hopefully we can just bounce back and look on to Saturday now. At this level, at any level, we just need to consistently be concentrating as a team and as a collective and just be expecting whatever they have to throw at us and just be able to have a response to that and hopefully next time we can just be better as a collective in terms of defending as a unit and not just as individuals. We just we're all a good group of boys. Everyone gets along together and we've all got a job to do. Whatever team the gaffer puts out is for us he trusts and believe and puts faith in us that we're gonna get the job done and it's simple as that. And if those are the boys that are around me, then we need to back each other up and get the job done. It would have been amazing to get a point at least or even three to kind of make that, make that difference and hopefully get off the bottom but that didn't happen and we can't dwell on that like I've said it's now for us to move on focus on Portsmouth away and hopefully regroup and then hopefully we can go and get a result there The way Rovers have been over the last few weeks you wouldn't put it past them would you? Not at all not at all I think you can't write us off we haven't written ourselves off we keep fighting until the last game every single game that comes along we're going to keep fighting and fighting and fighting to get the best possible result out of it